Welcome to DHS Informatics. This video we are going to see about top 5 deep learning projects. This is for the year 2023 and 2024. It will be best suitable for the BE students, MTech students, MCA students or diploma students those who are looking to do the project in a deep learning. Deep learning means it will also include the transfer learning concept also it will come so that we can able to these projects are for deep learning as well as transfer learning top 5 I am telling that the first project is a fruit CNN an efficient deep learning based fruit classification for precision agriculture these projects are from IEEE transactions or COFOS journals papers so that is a high standard projects this fruit CNN is having a two level classification. First level classification, it is going to identify whether it is an apple or banana, orange like that will be going to classify. Then the second level it is going to classify if it is a banana means whether it is a damaged or good. Apple means it is a damaged or good. So that we are using a convolution neural network to for this classification. Suppose you want some enhancement in this project, we can use the transfer learning techniques uh, like uh, Inception V3, uh, DenseNet, VGG16, like that we can able to use it. The second project is the abnormal event detection in video surveillance. Video surveillance, nowadays CCTV camera, okay, real time video surveillance system. When the crime is happened, like a robbery or murder or chain snatching is happened the police department will come and uh, use that the video recorded for the post investigation when the crime is happening only the police department will get the message means it will be useful no that is the concept of this project so that we are giving a one video clip it is going to identify whether that video clip is having a normal or abnormal activities if it is an abnormal activity, what type of abnormality? Whether it is a fire accident, burglar, or it is a uh, chain snatching, murder, like that will be identified and send the message to the nearest police station. So that we are developing a very futuristic project. This is a very futuristic project. So that very attractive. Attendance system by face recognition using a deep learning. Suppose in your colleges and schools, they are taking the attendance by calling your name and you are saying yes sir, present sir, like that you are telling. Instead of that, when you are entering the classroom only, there is one camera, it will be identify your face and it will be detect that who you are, whether you belong to this class or not. You are belongs to this class, automatically it will make that the entry, what time you enter also, we can do that. If possible, we can able to do that when you are going out also. It will based on your face, it will tell what time you went out, what time you were, you are incoming. Like that also, we can able to do that. Okay. So, that facial uh, recognition. Facial recognition using image is okay. But it is very highly difficult. When you are using a camera based thing, it is very difficult. We achieved that thing also with your cameras, we can able to do that. Then, next one. Multimodal biometric system for the face and fingerprint using the score level fusion. For example, some authentications, the eye authentication, some uh, uh, we are having some locker. We want to give our fingerprint as well as the face, both on combination of the, uh, for example, one Mr. Uh, Kumar is there. We are registered Kumar face and Kumar fingerprint. Okay. When his Kumar is coming, he, we need his face and fingerprint. Both has to be belongs to Kumar. Suppose face is Kumar, fingerprint is somebody's person, it will not open. It will give the alarm message like that. Similarly, fingerprint is Kumar's, but face is different, it will give the alarm message. So that we can able to fool the person. So usually, they will uh, hack, hack us what they will do. They will take the fingerprint uh, in a, some other way, duplicate fingerprint. They will keep that. Uh, they will forget about the face. Uh, but uh, we will uh, keep the face and fingerprint. It will be good. And it is, there is a new technique called score level fusion. Score level fusion means uh, like in your uh, plus two, you are having cutoff system. No, Like your entrance mark will be 50% and your academic mark will be 50%. No, Like that it is a score level fusion concept is there. That is a fourth project. And fifth one, poverty level prediction using the satellite image using a deep learning. Poverty level predictions. 
For example, you are taking some African countries, they are taking the images in the satellite to identify uh, Ethiopia and uh, Nigeria, like that many countries are Sudan, like that will be there, no? They are going to make the satellite image, based on the satellite image, we can able to tell what is the level of power, poverty, whether it is a very bad or it is a average or it is a good, it is improving, like that we can do. Here, not one image, we have to give the multiple images, like drones are taking the photos now from the satellite view, you know, so that that we are applying, it is going to identify whether it is improved or it is still bad, like that we can able to identify. That is a poverty level prediction. For all this project, we can use that uh, transfer learning technique or we can use the machine learning technique or we can use the hybrid deep learning technique. Hybrid deep learning means combination of two algorithms also we can able to do. Apart from these five projects, you are having any other ideas in your mind, we can able to develop and give to you. Thanks for watching this video. And one more thing, you are uh, have any of the project idea, please mention in the comment. You like this video, press the like button. And you are not subscribed to our channel, please press the subscribe button. For any queries, feel free to call me at uh, 9845166723. Thank you.